This is Ray's Angle of Magnetic Generator 3. Ray's Angle of Magnetic Generator 1. You can go back and look at it. We were at 10 volts on it and uh, without the with the OU event taking place I think it was something like uh, an average of 10 milliamp set at 10 volts that was about a hundred milliwatt and the setting was for the uh, non over unity event was somewhere around 25 milliamp at 10 volts around 250 milliwatts so there was about a hundred and fifty milliwatt difference there that we could uh, work with and, and see what it would actually do so this is the same setup, but I'm using 7.5 volts because I was blowing up my LEDs. <laughs> so, this is in the OU event, and we're drawing somewhere around an average of 10 milli, uh, amps, milliamps. And so, 7.5 volts times your 10 milliamps, around 75 milliwatt. Okay, 75 milliwatt. Okay, we'll go ahead and take it out of the OU phase. So, now, we're drawing somewhere, let's see, between, let it settle a little bit there. I'm going to say uh, 20 milliamp just for <laughs> ease of transposition here. Okay, so 7.5 volts around 20 milliamp. So that's uh, about 140 milliwatts. So uh, we're doing uh, you know, just about twice the amount uh, saved in this transition here. So if we use the 20 milliamp as a upper barrier, let's see if we can put it back into the over unity mode. And if we can load it down with some LEDs and not go over our 20 milliamp, then we're back to where we started with. So that would be what this is putting back into the system. It's a self-looping generator. It feeds itself back into the, uh, uh, the system. So it's actually running back current into the motor and your uh, power supply right now. So you kind of got to uh, see that difference in commercial way and the OU event way. So right now we're feeding the energy back in there so we're not going to hold a coil up here or anything like that because we don't need it. It's already a self uh, OU event. It's not enough to make up all the losses and run itself and charge the battery again but there is an OU event of about uh, about double right here. Double your uh, wattage. So we were like uh, 70 I think it was. 70 milliwatt and the, uh, to 140 milliwatt. Somewhere around there. So if we can stay below the 20 milliamp when it's loaded down then that's how much energy it's putting back into the system. There's mud. We're staying below that 20 milliamp draw. So we still have a little bit to play with, even with this as a load. So even with the, I think they have six LEDs there, even with six LEDs, which, you know, they don't draw a lot, but they do draw something to light up. Uh, so even with this load, it's still 
pushing back into the system uh, some extra wattage. So I hope that's uh, kind of clear to you. It's kind of a novel way of thinking about things because this is actually uh, pushing back your OU event back into the system. It's a self-feeding generator. Not enough to run itself, but enough to be measurable. So we'll do this one more time. Go ahead and take it over the, out of the OU event system. Now it's drawing even more. Because that's not having the OU event going back in there. Now we're almost up. I saw a 28, 29, 30. So that's the difference. So let's go ahead and start this again here. So without the OU event, we're, we're getting them around 20 milliamp, somewhere around there. And so we're putting it into OU action. Now we're going back to that average about 10, just for ease of transportation here. Uh, so, okay. So right now we're in the OU mode. The upper limit we're wanting to stay below is the uh, 20 milliamp draw. So we'll go ahead and load it down. So we're below the 20 milliamp draw. So even with the load, it is still self uh, cycling itself in there and putting a little bit more power in there than what it does just to run by itself. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is a kind of a fascinating thing. You can go back and see Ray's angled magnetic generator uh, one. This is that little camshaft motor. It's a geared motor and I wanted to have this slow motion so I can kind of see what's going on but that's a uh, geared down little DC motor. And otherwise than that, I think I covered everything in uh, number one. Okay, thank you very much. I thank you for your suggestions, uh, comments. I think I did this correctly. It's been a while. I did take electronics when I was in high school. That was a long time ago. So I think I fed that in there okay. And it gives you the idea of what's going on. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for your comments, suggestions, and your uh, coin and donation also. Have a good day and make every day count.